Now, this is also an animal which used their beaks. This is a bird that uses its beaks. Pratuda, the birds which use their beaks to kill the worms and insects and use them as food are known as Pratuda. The difference between that Biscuita and Pratuda is Biscuita type of animals use their beaks to just to pick up their food. They do not kill the animals by using the their beaks. But Pratuda are those types of birds that use their beaks to kill the worms first. Kill the worms and insects first and then use them as food after killing them. Uh, is called Pratuda. For example, Kapota and Paravat. The properties of the birds flies are Rasa. Madhura Kasaya, Guna is Lakushnitka, Karma is Malabandhakara, which is constipating. Now, this is also a group of animals. They are also using their beaks. But let us see the differences among them. Prasaha. This type of birds move around and snatch the food materials from other birds or animals. Prasaha. The meaning of the word prasaha is to move around and snatch the food materials from other birds or other animals. They rely upon other animals prey. Examples are kaka, uluka, kurara and kratra. They are ushna in nature. They will result in diseases like sosa, emaciation, unmada, unmada, insanity, sukrakchaya. It is not sukrala. It is sukrakshaya. It depletes the sukradhati. Now, these are group of animals. They dwell in villages. This is cattle. They are pets. These are also pet animals. Granya, the last group of classification. The animals which live in villages are known as Granya. For example, Mesha, Ashwa and Brisha. The animals will have Rasa, Madhura, Guna, Gurushnikta, Bidya, Ushna, Vipaka, Madhura and the Sangsthanic Karma or the systemic action of the flesh of those animals that dwell in villages are Vilya and Brighana. Now, the second broad classification as per Susruta was Anupamamsa, the mamsa which is obtained from animals which are living in wetlands or Anupdesha or marshy lands. The general properties of Anupamamsa are Rasa, Bulli, and Madhura. Tuna will be always Guru, Snikta, and Pichilla. Vipaka will be Madhura, Biriya will be Shita. And the karma, the Sangsani karma will be Pushtikara, nourishing. Avishyandi, blocking the channels and pacha, it is homogeneous to the different systems of the body. Now, regarding the classification, subclassification of Anupamsa, it is of five types Kulecharaha, Plavacha, Api, Koshastaha, Padinastatha, Machya, Ete, Samachata, Panchadha, Anupjataha. Anupamsa is being classified into five subtypes. They are Kulechara. Lava, Kosastha, Padinastha, and Machya. Now, the first one, first classification, Hippo. Kulechara. Kulechara. What are Kulechara? The definition of Kulechara animals are the animals which live near the banks of the river is called Kulechara. Near the banks of river, they will dwell upon. Examples, Lulaya, Ganda, Varaha, Chamri. Now, the properties of Kulechara, group of animals that dwell in near the rivers or near the wetlands. The Rasa will be Madhura, Guna will be Guru and Snikta, Vila will be Sita, Vipaka will be Madhura. Dosha Karma is Vata, Pitta, Shamaka and the Karma, the Karma or the Sangsthanic Karma of 
कुली चरा टाइप ऑफ मांस है ये बल्ल्या इट इंक्रीजेस द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ योर बॉडी ब्रिश से इट इज एन एफ्रोडिशियक एंड मोट्रला इट इज डायूरेटिक इन नेचर नाउ दिस इज द स्वांस द स्वांस दैट स्विम ओवर वाटर स्वांस प्लवा द एनिमल्स व्हिच लिव इन वाटर or the birds which plods or swim on the water are known as plava for example hansa sarasa karanda and vaka now let us see the properties of plava type those swim over water and live on water the birds are having rasa madhura guna is guru snigta briya is sita vipaka is madhura dosha karma is vata vitta samaka and the sanksanik karma the systemic action of the flesh of plava group of animals will be valya sukrala and pittakna that will decrease the vitiated pitta along with sukrala increasing the sperm and valya being nourishing the thatus now these are having cells here a shell this is a cons this is also a cons cell hmm? another example of shankha now the group of animals is termed as kosastha the aquatic animals which live in shells are known as kosastha they are using the cells for the protection as well as to help them in swimming floating over water the examples are sankha samboka and karkata the properties of those kosastha flies are rasa is madhura guna is guru and snigta bedia is sita vipaka is madhura dosha karma is vata pitta shamaka and karma will be balya brimhana and sukrala here the tortoise here one kind of bird they are able to move inside water here varaha or the pigs that are able to move in water with the help of their legs they swim in water this is hippo it is kulechara also but it belongs to another group of animals they are also they this is alligator that is having their limbs to swim over water now they are called padini the animals which have legs and live in water those animals that are having legs and live in water catch their prey by their tongue they will catch their prey not by their hands or their limbs they will catch their prey by their tongue and use them as food eat them are known as padini the animals which have legs and live in water by the help of their legs they swim they live in water catch their prey by the help of their tongue and eat them this group of animal circle padini for example makara kurma nakra and kotha now the properties of those animals are the flesh will be rasa madhura guna guru and snigta sita bodhi and madhuri vipaka the dosha karma will be vata pitta samaka and sanksanik karma or the systemic action of padini type of flesh will be balya brimhana and sukrala here now the last group of anupamamsa among the five sub class of anupamamsa this is matsya fish a beautiful fish this is also a beautiful fish now some are marine water fish and some are fresh water fish the group of flies matcha 
Dafishes like Rohita, Romas, who are aquatic in nature, are known as Machya. The best fish is Rohita as per Charakshamita. It is of two types depending upon the place where they live. Freshwater fish which live in rivers, lakes and ponds. And the other is saltwater fish which live in sea and ocean. The best meat is the flesh of fish. And among them, the best meat is the flesh of rohita fish that live in fresh water. The properties of machya type of anup mamsa is it will be madhura in rasa, guru snigdha in guna, ushna in bidya and madhur vipaka. The dosha karma is bata shamaka and the karma or the systemic action of the flesh of fish will be balya. It will be increasing the bulk of your muscles brimhana it will be nourishing the whole seven dhatus and shukrala it will be increasing the shukra dhatu both in cases of male as well as female so thank you with this we end up today's presentation on mamsa varga thank you